This is a quick video on how to disassemble or tear down a Lenovo X13 Yoga Generation 2 and Generation 3 um, and do a heatsink replacement, battery replacement, or other minor repairs. So you'll need to remove the stylus. If there's a SIM card slot, pull out the card. Then undo these seven Phillips screws. Then you'll need to take a pry tool and pry. I would recommend prying at the top corner. And then once you get it in and turn it sideways to pop it up, then do it in the hinge and then just keep warming your way through and prying up along this entire area. You can start on either end and work until you've gone from here to here or from here to here. You'll want to get it up and loose. Sometimes the edges here will also be stuck. So you can also work the pry tool down here by prying it up and then moving over, prying it up, etc. Once it's open, you'll want to pull it up 90 degrees, then you can pull it up. There are retainer tabs on the bottom, so you'll have to mind those. Here's the inside. This one's a mid-range model, missing some stuff like the um, 4G card and NFC reader, etc. If you want to change the battery, it's very simple. You undo the screws, these five, then you will simply pull up. There are tabs under here, so when you install the new battery, you need to slot the bottom end in here and then get the connector just pushed in. To change the heat sink, you will have to pull out the fan connector, release this little holder right here, just pull that cable, pull this wire away. Like that. Then you'll want to undo the four screws for the processor. They're numbered in the order to remove or add them. Undo the three fan screws and pull it out. Then you can reapply thermal paste here. When you reinstall it, um, do these four screws again, then always do, then do one, two, and three in that order because this one won't want to reach unless you've already done the previous two. You can then push in that cable and then reconnect that connector. Here's the M.2 SSD. You undo this screw and it pulls off. This is an aluminum sleeve around the Western Digital SSD. The back side of the aluminum sleeve has a bit of thermal, um, a thermal pad to connect it to the main board. I guess just conducts some heat into the fiberglass board. Um, other things to be aware of in terms of cable management, they have these little holders. So this is for the um, backup battery under the main battery. This is for the charger for the stylus, right down here. This is for the speaker. The speakers are not screwed in, they're just held in by rubber, so they can simply pull out. If you need to remove the whole main board, then you will also have to undo these two screws and remove this little I.O. shield. Undo all the cables around, so undo these, undo this one, these three, this and all of this. Um, the instructions say that you should remove the M.2 SSD and the heatsink. I think you can keep them in. Maybe you need to remove the fan, but the SSD can definitely stay. Um, the fingerprint sensor here is still connected. Don't do anything about that. It seems like I don't think you can. So what you'll do is you'll pivot up the main board and then flip it over. And the fingerprint sensor is connected with its own um, ribbon cable, which has some slack for this purpose. Um, then when you want to reassemble, make sure that you've got every single cable in. I actually damaged this um, flux connectors, the little black tab on this flux connector for the track point. So I have electrical taped it down and there's the actual spare damaged lever. Um, this connector for the keyboard was actually uh, misfolded. So I refolded that so it's not cramped under the battery. You have to push everything in, push it in very firmly using the plastic tab on the flux cable. Then you can push the little tab shut. Um, these connectors for the Wi-Fi are very finicky. I recommend using tweezers to line them up and make sure they push in firmly and can't be pulled up easily. Um, other than that, it's actually a pretty simple process. And then you do everything in reverse. So, you, you know, again, put the battery in and down, pivot it down. Motherboard pivots over, put everything back, screw it in. The motherboard's held in, by the way, with screws if you need to remove that board itself. There is one here, and then there are three 
right along the left side in this orientation. Then to put it back in, again the opposite, so keep standing up, get it lined up, push it in if it's feeling stubborn. There we go. So yeah, all the hooks have engaged. Then push in the tabs on the opposite side. You can hear everything click into place. And sometimes they don't want to click into place until you've actually tightened the screw. And tighten them in basically any order. Um, screws in the laptop are very common. The battery uses a different length than the um, main board, but everything else is pretty standardized. So, um, the also documentation should be online with more videos if you need it, or a full PDF manual. Then when you're done, put back in your SIM card and your stylus, and see if she boots.